Hello everyone, I just finished updating the new Java Messenger UI, and today I want to show you a quick start guide on how to run this project. You can download the project or clone it from GitHub. In my case, I'm going to clone it. Just copy the repository link, go to the folder where you want to store the project, right-click and open the git terminal. Then run the clone command to start downloading the project. After downloading, you'll see the project folder here. Next, we're going to run the server. This is the folder structure of the server project, and inside it, we also have a .env file. If you ever need to update any configuration, you can open this file and modify the values inside. Now, let me show you how to run the server using Docker. First, make sure Docker is already installed on your machine. You can check by running this command to view the Docker version. In my case, I'm using version 28.0.1. Once everything is ready, navigate to the Java Messenger folder. And then navigate to Messenger Server Project. Now run this Docker command to build and start the server along with MySQL. The first run may take a little longer because it needs to download Node.js and MySQL from the internet. Once it's finished, you'll see the server logs here. MySQL is now running on port 3306. Next, we can open the Messenger client project. Open the client project in IntelliJ. Since this client is written in Java, we need to check the pom.xml file. If you see any dependency errors, just right-click the project, choose Maven, and select Reload Project to download all required libraries. After everything is loaded successfully, we can run the application. Go to the main class, and click the Run button. Here, we can start by creating a new account. After registering, go ahead and log in. Once you're logged in, you'll see your account information displayed. From here, you can create a new group, send messages, and fully test the chat features. Enjoy exploring the application. And for Docker, we now have two containers running. One container is for the Messenger app, which is the Node.js server, and the other container is for the MySQL database. You can start or stop both containers directly from Docker Desktop.